Swamp Sniper here. This is the Apple Test. Ow. Oh my God! None of my friends were willing to do it, but I was like, what if it's a friend that also works for me? Such as Ben Ruhlman. Ben here, who is the manager at Balahack, uh, is going to be letting me shoot him in the face, probably accidentally, while we do this test. Uh, to test out three different guns. I will be testing with the six millimeter Pro Shop Paytech M200 Intervention, the Silverback Airsoft SRS A1 bullpup bolt action, which is currently my favorite uh, bolt action rifle, with a stock Tokyo Marui VSR-10. I get three shots for each one. I'm gonna try to aim high uh, so that I don't hit them in the face to start calculating. I'm also using the same scope mount on each one to easily switch it with my camera on it. So they will not be sighted in. I'll just basically be going off of whatever my first shot was. Um, we're right at 100 feet uh, from my sniper coop, which is this military bus right here and Ben is over here. Ben is wearing full seal eye protection with retention behind the head. He's also wearing a lower face mask. Don't do this at all anyway at home, just don't do it. But if someone were to do it, wear a full face paintball mask. The only reason I'm doing this is there's a little more risk involved to where, you know, there's a little more risk involved. <laughs> and it's no more risk than if he was playing airsoft out on the field. Last thing, Ben, how, how do you feel about this? Um, a little nervous, but I trust your shot, man. I've watched your videos. You do pretty good at your shot. At least what I see of it. All right, we'll, we'll find <laughs> out. Apple is a very small target to hit. If you think about that being the size of a human torso, I mean, they'd have to be really, really far away for it to match. So it's kind of an exaggerated thing. Plus, I'm really gonna try to aim high on a lot of these. I do not want to hit him in the face. Let's find out how it goes. Uh, a lot of faith, man, a lot of faith. So here we go. Getting my little sniper hide here. It's a little, the window's a little high. So I'm gonna hit that edge. I gotta get up higher. So I'm actually over 100 feet right now. Starting with the SRS A1. Let's see how this baby works. This is gonna hurt. All right, here are my three shots. All right, man. Ready when you are. I'm so sorry, dude. This is a bad. I don't do this at all. It's close. Uh, yeah, I heard that one. My high shot. And a little lower. Ow! Oh my god! Is that your head? Just the top. Good to go, man. Did it hurt? Eh. Dude, we shouldn't do this. All right, gonna, all right, dude, I feel so bad. Are you okay? Yeah, dude, I'm good to go. Oh, man. Do another high one. I'm supposed to be the one that's scared, not you. Oh, I'm scared. <laughs> yep, dead center. All right. Whew. So it actually took more than three shots uh, on this one just because I was so scared and I did hit him in the head. Uh, I don't know how to average that, so we'll see what happens. Up next, we've got the stock Tokyo Marui BSR-10. see how this bad boy works. All right, Ben, you ready? Come on, man, I got shot more as a marshal. All right, I'm gonna proceed with my three shots. Oh, I'm so sorry. Are you just making excuses for your next shots of being poor aim? Close. Very close. Here's the one. Oh. Oh. Very 
going one pass. You winged it that time. Was that your head or the apple? No, that was the apple. You winged it. All right. This one's going too far past the limit, so I'm going to give it one more shot. All righty. Oh. Woo. All right. I'm just going to give up on this one. <sighs> Nicked it. Um, definitely not shooting as straight as the other one. However, I was definitely, the scope really needed to be sighted in on this one. Kind of a poor example, but I'm just seeing because I have to on the fly switch these scopes from these guns. M200 intervention. It's a huge mag. So far, the SRS is winning. The TM is normally incredibly accurate and consistent. I just haven't adjusted anything on it or the scope. Still, I felt a little more comfortable with the SRS. All right, man. This thing is so heavy. Wow, that looks a lot more intimidating. Yeah. You sure you're ready? I'm good. Ready for whenever you are, I think. Here go my, my initial three shots. I'm going to aim high. Whew. I'm going to like three feet high here. Yep. Oh, so close. Close. Oh. Ah. Uh, we can fire one more shot. It's curved up too high. I'm gonna call this little test done here. All right. So the M200, I'm gonna say, comes in last place on this one, solely because. The other ones, if I wanted to adjust the hop-up, I could on the fly. On the M200, I have to take the scope mount up to reach the hop-up adjustment. So if this was a real situation, far less comfortable with this gun. Um, Silverback, man. That's gonna be the one for this one. And I'm kind of surprised because I really like that TM. But it was, uh, it would go far left or it'd go straight. Silverback was pretty consistent, so. There you go, Apple test, you survived. I only hit him once. Okay, hold up. So I already packed up all my camera stuff and it was like, oh, thank God I didn't hit him and all this stuff. I can't, I can't do this test without using the gun that I say is the most effective gun and blah, blah, blah that I love. The Elite Force HKG 28. So he was about to leave and I was like, dude, let's just do it. Let's do it. And he was like, all right, let's do it. Well, it was supposed to be a bolt action test, but I'm going to throw this in there. I just want to see how it goes. All right, man. Bonus round. Bonus round. Let's see how this DMR works. Uh, somehow I feel like I got the short end of the stick. All right, man. Whenever you're ready. Oh. Oh. I'm coming in closer. Okay? It wasn't on your skin, right? <laughs> you found the one spot that the face mask isn't guarding. Are you serious? There we go. Was that really your skin? Yeah. I thought it hit the plastic. Nah, right on the bridge of my nose. Dude. I'm good. Oh. Got me to flinch on that one. Yeah, I'm calling that done. It was it was pretty good, but if I if I sighted in the scope, we'd see. Man, you were. So <laughs> this is this is definitely why you don't do this test. And it was a stupid test. Right, right where the right where the iPro didn't protect the thing. So. This was consistent. I'm not gonna do this test again. Ben took it like a man. He didn't even flinch. I thought it hit his eyebrow. I heard click, and I'm like, oh, he's okay, but you're right. It's a BB, yeah. 
good. All right, just don't do this test. Hopefully we learned something from it. God, I don't even know. Thanks for watching, guys. Again, don't really, don't do stuff like that. Um, we're trying to have fun here. He was wearing all the proper uh, safety gear to where he wouldn't get hurt any more than he would playing airsoft in general. Stay safe and thanks for watching. Subscribe for more weird stuff like this in my gameplay videos. Bye. Thank you guys so much for watching. I know this was a weird video. It wasn't a cool gameplay video. Um, help me out by subscribing. Follow on my stuff. Stay safe. I love you guys. Bye.